Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Today we've got a little bit to do but I'm recovering from Covid so it's probably going to be a bit slower and probably not quite as long as I normally do. So if you haven't considered subscribing please consider subscribing as we're bringing out content all the time and don't forget to hit that um, notification bell that way you will not miss a video. So let's jump into this vlog. Okay, I've literally just had a parcel come in. My husband's just cut the tape for me. And this is from Buy Whole Foods online.co.uk. I love this company. Now uh, this lot is actually basically for me this time because on top of having COVID I've also developed a dairy intolerance so this mum has got to cut out a lot of dairy and give her body time to heal a little so let's have a look what we've got in here I should be able to tell you the prices as well let me have a look I have to get that up on my phone. Okay, that's my prices. So I have 500 grams of Baker's Instant Dried Yeast, and that was 7.33. That's for 500 grams. Don't know when the date is on it. Let's have a look. June 2023. I often sling them into the freezer. That way they will last forever in there. So, as you all know, I make my own bread. So, I use a lot of yeast up. Ooh. Okay, I've got some organic tapioca flour. Need this for some recipes for dairy-free cheeses. Okay. What have I got in here? <laughs> oh wow, really? <laughs> oh that, for one jar. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have some organic coconut oil. It's the odorless one. That's again, what a lot of the dairy free recipes and that is asking for so that's what I've got um, you also know I needed agarica so I got some of that that's 100 grams I didn't know how much I need so I just got those to start with if it's something that I need greater quantities then I will order next time also some more cashew nut pieces. I love their cashew nut pieces from there. Um, I know that again for the dairy free cheeses and that you use cashew nuts. And I've also got some sunflower seeds to make some um, sunflower seed butter. You know, like so it's like peanut butter and almond butter you can do it with sunflower seeds so let's give you some prices that was £4.51 the cashew nuts was £4.61 the tapioca flour was £2.35 the agar agar was £5.35 for 100 grams the coconut oil was £6.80 and then this mum has been missing chocolate badly so I bought some little chocolate buttons dairy free chocolate buttons and chocolate is not cheap they were £1.44 Oops. and because I was feeling sorry for myself at the time I treated myself to a box of caramels which was also a ridiculous price was £4.37 
So my grand total was £37.92. So that is that. Oh, and there's going to be a problem. The weather that's been hot and I can see an issue. Uh, let's see how bad it is. Oh, it's bad. Um, not even sure what I can do about that. Okay, uh, let me go and sort this lot out and I will figure out what I can do with the caramels. Okay, I've just boxed everything back up and just dumped it to one side in the kitchen. I'll sort everything else out later and put it all into the correct jars. I've emailed the company. This is the first time I've ever had any issue and I think it's probably just due, due to the hot weather that we are having here in the UK. Um, it's funny because the chocolate buttons weren't mounted but I've emailed. I, I expect I'll get an email back. I will let you all know um, what the outcome is I'm not as annoying as it is I'm not overly worried so it's probably because I feel too ill to worry about it <laughs> so it's fine okay I said in my last vlog last week's vlog that I would show you how to make vanilla extract and remember I bought this when I went antiquing. So there's my vanilla pods, extract grade. I can't remember how much they were. Let me see if I can have a look on my phone. That's from eBay, they were £15.74 for 20 pods. There we are, I got there in the end. Okay, I'm going to take vodka, you can do it with vodka, you can do it with um, spiced rum, anything like that. And I'm going to tip it into here. I've left a little gap at the top because obviously I'm putting these in and I'll push it up a bit. And what we're going to do is get a knife and we're going to split our pods down the middle. You can't see that because that's black on black. Christmas chopping board. So we're going to take going to just split all the way down and I'm going to drop them into there. It's so easy. Don't waste those vanilla beans. Drop them in as well. I will probably put 15 in there. One, two, three, four, five. The last one. Okay, I'm going to top this up to make sure that. that all the vanilla beans are covered. You don't want them poking out anywhere. 
There we go. And give it a little shake. There we are. And now you put that in a dark cupboard. Give it a shake about once a week. And then in about three, between three and six months time, your vanilla is ready. Okay, let me clear this lot up. Actually, I might cut these up, but I still need to clean up a bit. Let me clean up and then I'll bring back to show you what I'm going to do with the rest of the vanilla beans. Okay, with these five, what I'm going to do is split them in half. And then I'm going to cut them up into smaller pieces. And we're going to dry them on what well, in the dehydrator so we make vanilla bean powder. Just so they dry easier. I'm just going to put them in a dish. I've got to clear off the dehydrator first anyway. I'm just going to pop everything into there. Now I'll probably put them in a little parchment dish that I probably make. Actually I might just cut them like, like that. That may be better. I just thought they would dry quicker if they were split and cut down smaller and if you've looked online the price of vanilla bean powder is extortionate because it takes a lot of vanilla beans this will make just a tiny tiny amount okay let me wash up and then I'll be back to deal with that okay as I said I've got to clear these trays first before I can get my vanilla beans on. Just out of parchment paper I've made like a little dish, just stapled it in the four corners and that's what those will go in just like that. And there we are, that's, that's how I will put them in the dehydrator. I will spread them out a little bit in there in a minute. Right, as you can see this is just from yesterday. We're going to put tree spinach in there. I've just realised I haven't got the chamomile down. Where is that? I thought I had a new jar of it. I can't find them. It's not going to matter. I'm just going to sell them in the top here. That's the chamomile. Okay. Calendula. Things. They don't feel quite done. So I'm going to leave them to one side. There's always one flower that you miss. So you've got surely dandelion. And I'm going to put the carrot tops in with the tree spinach because what I will do is I will grind those down to a powder at a later date and put in my greens mix. There's not enough room at the moment in that jar. That is broadleaf plantain. I haven't got much of that growing, but I'm trying to harvest just a couple of bits each time. Okay, the big one is the mints. This jar is for my mint tea. This will keep me going literally all year long. That is parsley. And then we have that is lemon verbena. Just 
just there. I love the smell of lemon verbena. It smells so good. That one is, what is that one? Lemon balm. I'm going to lift that off and get rid of those bits. Okay, so I can put those back on like that. And then I've been picking this morning just before I started videoing. So I've got some nasturtium leaves. I've got some pansies and violas. And I have a few chamomile. And then we have some peas, which I'm gonna shell here. And then what I do is I chop these down a bit, because I don't like waste. And then I dry the shells out and then powder them up and they go in my greens mix as well. It's just adding a little bit of nutrition back to you, as well as no waste. And because it will be a powder, no one will know. I do a very fine powder. There we are. That's that. That will go on the dehydrator. That can go on while I'm clearing this tray. Okay, what have we got going on here? Yep, there's some Monge 2 that I dehydrated yesterday. And each year we do a little tub of mixed vegetables. So I've got some peas. <laughs> That's what they look like. As you can see, they dehydrate tiny, but they are great for adding into soups and stews and things like that. And of course it's all organically grown because it's grown here, there's no chemicals used. So that's our little pot at the moment. Now this is some of the garlic that I wanted to dehydrate up. I'm trying to make sure, no, some of, some of that still feels a little on the wet side. So what I will do is I will put that back onto this tray. Oh. Okay. So that's the garlic on there as well. Pansies. This is this year's pansies that I've managed to pick. Okay, that's some mints. We've got some rosemary there. <clears throat> I don't bother putting the stalks in. There we are. Right, I'm gonna go and put this away and get all these little bits into the compost bin, and then I will be back. Okay, just labelled my jars and put the spiral date and that on them. Now I'm going to get this lot into here. There's the cashew. Let's do some flour. I may need a second jar for this, I don't know. I'll remember to label that jar up in a minute. Now we've got the tapioca flour. Oh we knew that was gonna get everywhere. <laughs> okay. There we are. That's that done. And let me set up for I think it's week nine on the hashtag £1.50 challenge. 
Okay, this is just the recap. But this is eight weeks in here. I'll just show you what we've got so far. So we've got things like tomato and herb sauces, ragouts. We've got pastas, we've got porridge, we've got rice, we've got spaghetti, we've got yeast, we've got bread flour, we've got stock cubes, we've got couscous, we've got rice pudding, we've got pineapples, we've got peaches, we've got soups, we've got peas and carrots, condensed cream of mushroom, we've got chicken soup, tomato soup, hot tomatoes, we have all sorts in here, tomato puree, baked beans and spaghetti hoops, so the, that's in there, so let me show you what we're going to add to it this week. Okay, week nine, and it was from Sainsbury's this time, so we got a salad cream at 47 pence. We have chopped tomatoes at 28 pence. We have a tin of peaches for 31 pence. And then we've got some cup of soups at 36 pence for this week and that come to £1.42 I actually had it in within my normal shopping so that's the prices there so it's £1.42 with 8p left over to carry on for another week and here it is all wrote down so we actually have 8 plus the 2p from the other weeks so we have 10p to carry over for week 10 so we we'll have £1.60 so £1.60 for next week instead of £1.50 because these little odd pence under and over all add up Right, I think it's that's it for this vlog this time. And what did you think of making the vanilla extract? So easy. It takes just a few minutes, and then you just leave it in the cupboard for a few months. But don't forget, about once a week, go and give it a shake. Don't worry if you forget a week or two. Just when you remember, just give it a shake. That's all, and then it'll be ready just in a few months which if you do it now, it'll be nice and ready for Christmas so you can give as gifts. I did that a couple of years ago and everybody loved it. So that's a good little gift idea that you can get ready now. So I haven't heard back about my very runny caramels yet. So I will update you in the next vlog. Um, it'll probably take a day or so for them to get back in touch which is absolutely fine I'm not over worried you'll have to keep an eye out on the next vlog to see how the vanilla beans are on the dehydrator and how I grind them up and how much is there okay so keep your eyes peeled for the next vlog okay so if you like this video please give it the big thumbs up hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell that way you will not miss a video and if you wouldn't mind sharing across social media, that would help immensely. Okay, so until next time, everybody. Bye!